Hi, in this tech snip, we'll be looking at how to create Azure App Service web app using PowerShell. Prerequisites, you should have Azure subscription and then also you should have installed Azure PowerShell on your machine. To create a web app using PowerShell, it takes three steps. The first step being creating the resource group, second step being creating the app service plan and then finally the web app itself. Before proceeding further, it is important for you to log in to your Azure subscription account. You can use the command let connect Azure RM account and then perform the login action. In this video, I've already done that, so I expect you to do the same. I have created three variables to help me out with my script. The first step is to create a resource group. So we use the command let new Azure RM resource group. We pass the name and then the location. So let me execute this command now. As you can see on the my console, it's already gone ahead and then created the resource group named TechSnips resource group in the West Europe and then here's the resource ID. The second step is to create the app service plan. For that, we will use the command let new Azure RM app service plan. We give the name of the web app, the location, the resource group name and then the tire under which this plan has to be created. Let me select this command and then I'm going to run this. As you can see here in my console, it's now running the Azure RM app service plan command and as we can see here we now have the app service plan created under the resource group. The last step is to create the web app itself. For, for that we're going to be using this command new Azure RM web app. We pass the name of the web application, the location, the app service plan and then the resource group name under which this needs to be created. Let me select the command and then I will execute this command now. As you can see in the console it started executing and we see that it's saying 95% has completed. It's creating the resource text names web app which is the name we gave under microsoft.web slash sites collection and we should wait for this to get over and we see that the creation of the web app is complete now. We see the resource group name, the default host name which is text names web app dot azure website dot net. With these three simple commands, we were able to create a Azure web app using PowerShell. I have logged into my Azure portal and as you can see here in the resource groups blade, I can see the newly created text names resource group. When I click on that and I will be taken inside the resource group, we should see the app service plan and then the web app that we created in step number two and then step number three. And as you can see here, I have the app service plan and then app service created. Once we have finished creating the web app, if we have to remove the whole resource group itself, well, we can use the PowerShell command, remove Azure RM resource group, pass the resource group name, and then execute this command to remove the complete resource group. Let me select the command and then execute this. And as you can see here, it's uh, remove Azure RM resource group. The name is resource group name, and then it's executing this command now on the console. As you can see here, the execution has finished and we see true meaning the resource group has been deleted. 